What's going on guys? This is Boot Ramp playing Boom Beach. On this video guys, I'm gonna be using the troop combination hookers and that is heavies and zookas and that's gonna be super awesome because I'm gonna be taking down Dr. Terror with hookers. Same with the real player bases. I'm gonna be hand blasting them like a fishy guacamole guys. So the first base is of course online. So that means I need to jump over to the second base. So the second base is gonna be like a level 51, 961 medals. I'm dropping on my heavies first in the zookas are coming afterwards and the reason why I do drop the heavies first is because I want the rocket launchers and all of those defensive buildings to target the heavies first because if I take the Zookas first and when the rocket launcher is tossing rockets you're gonna be wiping you're gonna be losing all of your Zookas and the Zookas are the one that's doing the damage the heavies do actually work like a meat shield that means they are taking the damage while the Zookas from behind are doing the main damage so keep an eye guys keep an eye take out the rocket launchers when you can and if you if you can't take it down and when you're getting close to it just chalk it and take it down like a banana guys like a banana so this first base level 51 was wasn't a problem at all and now as you see here this i'm supporting this combo with with the barrages artillery shells and it's pretty easy to hand blast this base like a fish dang guys so okay the heavies and the zookas are targeting the hq right now tossing critters to execute that hq and just went down the critters are awesome with the heavies and zookas as well so i did have like some casualties there but it doesn't really matter because i'm gonna be instant finishing those uh those uh, troops so let's go ahead and attack the next base so the next base is gonna be ban 1027 metals level 58 dropping out my heavies first and then the zookas are coming afterwards and look at the rocket launcher the rocket launcher is actually targeting those heavies and that is super awesome that is super awesome the heavies got tons of hp um they do actually great amount of damage if you got like a lot of those heavies but if you got like one heavy firing on the hq it's gonna be nothing it's gonna be nothing and i do love the prototype defenses guys i absolutely love the prototype defenses uh it was really necessary in this game because uh I mean, like, I, I was using scorches and tanks for a long, long time, and it was easy. It was super easy to take out bases. I was like, wow. Whoa, banana. Whoa, banana. Yes, I was like that, guys. It was so easy to take down bases with scorches and tanks. Even though I didn't boost it on my troops, it was easy because I could just take out the uh, the boom cannons. I could just roll out the scorches and tanks, and I could just I could actually just watch the game. Uh, and they took it down. The real player bases took it down like a fish, guys. I'm telling you, it's really fishy. So yeah, keeping a rock and band. 1,027 medals. Uh, my group here has been splitting up into two teams here and uh, I have no problems at all using this uh, combination they totally rock it's an old-school team uh, when you're playing a low level uh, low level stages uh, this is what you actually use uh, Zookas and heavies the heavies at the front and the Zookas from the behind doing great damage so the next guy I'm gonna be attacking here is gonna be Re Remai is it Rima or Remy? NL, 1005 medals, level 58. Uh, just loving it, guys. I'm just loving this troop combination. I'm really happy. One of you guys out there was asking for this combination because uh, I actually miss it. It's actually really, really awesome. It's super cool. So, yeah, let's keep it on blasting. We got tons of real player bases to attack today. And we do have Dr. Terror. And that is a great fun, guys. Dr. Terror is always fun to take down. And uh, that's because like it's only seven stages now. It's not like it's like it's not like 20 stages. It's seven stages. And that is actually cool. Because 20 stages was really, really long. And it took like uh 20 minutes to take him down. But now it takes like five minutes, and you have like um a lot of crystals and it's it's not too hard it's not too hard i know that some people are struggling against terror stage 7 that's because you don't have enough uh, or maxed up troop or enough gunboat energy to shock those defensive buildings but anyway we're gonna be talking about dr terror later on after i taken down this real player basis so Next one is Ryobin, 1032 medals, level 61, and we do have a damage amplifier here. And I'm really scared of damage amplifiers because uh, when the rocket launchers are boosted up, it's totally insane, guys. It's totally crazy. It's doing tons of damage. I have a great plan coming up for you guys very, very soon. After my prototype defenses are, are, are done, I'm going to be using damage amplifier, and I'm going to be doing something insane. I'm thinking like, I'm thinking like to boost up. Up like 
10 eye statues, having like 2 damage amplifiers and the rocket launcher, I really do wonder how much damage is gonna be, it's, it's gonna be crazy, I, I can't even imagine how much damage that would actually do, 2 damage amplifiers and rocket launchers, and you have like full 10 eye statues boosted up, I don't think it's gonna be possible to take it down actually, I do not think it's gonna be possible, but yeah, we're gonna be checking that out when the times comes guys, I'm gonna be making those damage amplifiers, and I'm gonna be showing those battle replays with you guys of course it's all about you guys it's all about you um you can just control me um just put a comment down below what do you want to see uh what do you want me to do just pop into the comments and i'll try to do it as fast as i can and if i do it I, if i do think it's possible i absolutely i will absolutely make a video about it so yeah make it like uh make sense when you're asking me because uh running like with medics all medics it's not possible to take down any bases with all medics because you basically need damage well you do have the critters right now but still it's gonna be hard so Took down Ryben, 1032 medals, level 61 just went down guys, Zookas and Heavy, say hello to them, say hello to them guys, <laughs> whoa, my nose is like itching, but it doesn't really matter, so, making another bulk of Heavis and Zookas, and we're gonna be jumping over to the next one, it's online of course, so what about this guy, level 55, he's offline, so that means I'm gonna be attacking this base, it is a boosted up base, 1011 medals, level 55, and... Yeah, they do have like a cannon there under construction. That is like, this is gonna be easy. I think this is base is gonna be easy. Even though he got like boosted up statues, no problem at all. I'm gonna be hand blasting this base like a fish, guys. The energy is real. The dangle berry is real. Everything is real, guys. <laughs> Even though the base is boosted up. What am I talking about? What am, what am I talking about? Do not mind, guys. We're keeping on blasting this real player base. Boom Burr. I don't know how to pronounce this name, but I think it's Boom Burr. Boom bar, yes, I think it's boom bar, and he got like a doom cannon on the left side. What is going on with the doom cannons? I really, I'm really so afraid of those boom cannons because they are so dangerous, doing tons of damage, and uh, it's unbelievable. Two doom cannons. I'm fighting actually against two doom cannons here. Um, but I really think that you should mix it up uh, when you're using uh, Doom Cannons. Uh, not two Doom Cannons, but use like probably one Shock Blaster, one Doom Cannon would be a great thing. Or a Laser Beam. Or a Laser, yeah, it's a Laser Beam. And the Doom Cannon would be a good the combo as well. But I'm thinking like, when my day comes, I'm going to be using two damage amplifiers on the Rocket Launcher. And boost up those 10 Ice Statues. It's going to be insane. It's going to be super cool to see what the result is going to be when that day comes. But right now, I do have have like uh, prototype defenses active and, and I'm not gonna be disclaim or reclaim them because it's gonna be a waste so let's wait uh, let's wait until the um the time is over so it's time to rock and roll we're gonna be heading over to dr terror and we're gonna be completing all of the stages from one stage one to stage 20 and you guys know i'm using the critters i'm using the critters when i'm taking down terror stage one to four it's basically critters what i'm using because the critters are powerful the critters are massively they are swarming the whole map they're swarming the whole hq you just toss them from the sky uh in a box and when they land it breaks up into tiny little robots and that's super cool so we're gonna be jumping over to the next attack here terror stage 2 and I'm gonna be dropping all of those critters let it rain guys let it rain and let the torch thunder or Mjolnir just uh, rain upon this HQ yes so this oh man these critters are awesome I just love them I just love them some people say like, oh, the critters are, uh, are are really bad, but I do think they are super cool. They can distract boom cannons, they can uh, hop on the boom mines, they can pretty much do everything, guys. They're super awesome if you know how to use them. So, using another critters attack, third stage 3, and I'm dropping my boxes of uh, critters and hand blasting that HQ right now. Dr. Terry is actually tasting tons of pain. My legion, my army of critters are not it's impossible to stop them it's impossible to stop them i mean like i do have like 100 critters there how are you gonna be stopping that dr terror i'm blasting your base in your face <laughs> your base in your face so, okay let's keep on rolling what's the next thing here um okay we have terror stage four here and i'm gonna be trying to use critters let's toss those boxes and let's see if the critters actually will uh, succeed in this attack 
Okay, we're doing actually really a bad damage in the HQ right now. The HQ got tons uh, more HP. Look at this, guys. What do you guys think? Will I be able to take down this HQ with only critters? Well, yeah, I do think it's gonna go down. Yes, the critters. Look at them. Firing from their eyes or the nose. I have no idea where it's coming out from, but I think it's the eyes. The, the, the gun is coming out from the eyes on these critters. So, okay. Terror Stage 40 is one down. And by the way, my tongue is pretty messed up. I'm, my tongue is bleeding because uh, I actually ate food yesterday and I did bite on my tongue. So I actually struggle talking. So uh, it's like, it's like la, 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 la. yeah, my, my tongue is numb. It's absolutely numb. So, Terror Stage 5, let's rock and roll. Let's not waste time. I'm tossing those critters from the sky, and the critters are spreading out, eating up those cannons and the sniper tower. And I'm working my way down to uh, to the HQ. I'm so ready to hand blast this guy. Look at my critters. They, they're like swarming the whole thing. But we have like machine guns and flamethrower bugging my critters. And this is actually going to be a problem. As you see right now, I don't have enough damage to take down this base. That means I need to take out my Zookas and my Heavies. You guys and girls need to work out something here. Okay, so, whoa, 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 shock launcher there. I didn't I didn't actually see that. I, I, I didn't see those two uh, shock launchers. That is really dangerous. Wow. Eating my Zookas, guys. Eating my Zookas. That is what you get if you don't pay attention. Just drop out your troop. It's gonna be trapped, guys. It's gonna be really dangerous. It's gonna be really dangerous. So keep an eye on that. Those uh, chalk launchers and rock launchers. It can basically, it can basically make you wipe. So uh, okay, they're splitting up the two, two teams here. What are they doing? What are they doing? So I need to re relocate my troops. I cannot wipe on the third stage five. What is going on? Okay, the big group is actually heading over to the right side of the base. Come on, heavies and zookas. <laughs> You need to work better than that, guys. You need to work better than that. So, okay. The Zookas are actually failing on the left side there. I do have two heavies and some Zookas on the middle there. And I got all of my army on the south side of the base. They're, they're actually running away from the HQ. What is going on? Come on, bros. You gotta do it, bros. So, I'm tossing my critters upon that HQ. And the critters are gonna be finishing off the HQ. My heavies and my Zookas are just drunk. I have no idea what they're doing. But I took it down. Terror Stage 5 just went down like a fish, guys. Like a fish. So, it's time to head over to the Terror Stage 6. And we're gonna be checking out what we got there. So, uh, yeah. Let's jump over to Terror Stage 6. So what do we have here? Okay, the HQ is far behind, uh, but far behind there. So that means I need to clear up the defensive buildings that is close to the beach. I don't really have a, a problem, uh, problem with this uh, rocket launchers and the shock launcher at the start of the beach. I, I, I think it's a really hard sell. So. Yeah. Working on this base right now, Terror Stage 6 is tasting a lot of juice. My boot ramp juice are just about raining upon this base. And check this out, check this out. They're actually forming a straight line, marching their way up. They, they, they're way up to the HQ. I'm just ham blasting pretty much everything I see here. The machine guns are trying to take down the, ha the, the heavies. But uh, yeah, you cannot take my heavies with machine gun, bruh. You cannot take it, bruh. You, you need like boom cans to take my base down, bruh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah, relocating my heavies and my zookas. I'm forming all of my powers. I'm actually gathering all of my powers on one spot. And I'm going to be releasing the pain. And I'm ready to smack that HQ. Dropping all of my critters upon that HQ. Look at the critters. Look at the critters are just swarming the whole thing. Taking down the boom cannons, the cannons, and the mortars, like everything, guys. The critters are OP. The heavies are OP. And of course, the zookas are doing great damage is unbelievable it's super awesome so we have like one more stage to take down we got a crystal over there on the third stage six awesome like a fish man awesome like a fish man keep on raining those crystals dr terror i need them so this is the last stage of dr terror stage seven and uh yeah, this is going to be the last attack, I think. So dropping out the heavies and the Zookas in the middle there. I do have a bad feeling in this base. This is going to be really hard because Terror Stage 7 is actually really, really strong. And using heavies and Zookas on Terror Stages is like... Yeah, it's really... Whoa! I'm losing my... 
I almost lost my air, guys. But never mind. I just, I just uh, pumped in some air in my lungs, and I'm ready to speak. I'm ready to speak like a fish, guys. Okay, let's keep on rocking. Um, the rocket launcher up there is really pain in the butt, guys. In the butt, 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 bottom. Started from the bottom, guys. Okay, <laughs> started from the bottom. Now here. Yeah. Is it like that? I think that I think that's like Drake singing. I think it's Drake. I do love Drake. Anyways, let's keep on ham danging, guys. The ham blast is real. The dangle berry is real. Everything is real today. Doctor Hero is real, and the crystals are real. I am gonna be tacking down this thirsty sand, but I, it does looks like I'm failing right now. Um, I'm starting to uh, to uh, use all of my gunboat energy, and the HQ still got like 60% health. And I don't have any more gunboat energy to distract or shock those rocket launchers. The rocket launcher would definitely kill my Zookas. Oh no! There we go. We lost all of the Zookas on the left side of the base. Wow, I gotta retreat this. I cannot take down anything right now. I only got Zookas. So I'm gonna be retreating this, guys. The, the HQ got like 40 more percent of health. So it's, it's no it's no use to just uh, flare my five Zookas up there. It's gonna be like suicide, guys. Suicide. The suicide. Is it suicide or suicide? Anyways, don't bother, guys. I'm gonna be attacking with another hooker run. I'm not gonna be giving up. If I'm saying I'm attacking with hookah, I'm running with hookahs. I'm running with hookahs. Oh, that sounded really wrong, guys. That sounded really wrong. Okay, Terror Stage 7 dropping out the heavies first, and Zook is coming out. And there we go. All of the heavies are absorbing the damage. It's time to focus. I cannot lose focus against this uh, Terror Stage 7 because I'm going to be losing those. Uh, look at this, guys. The Zookas are going down. Wow. The machine guns are doing great damage against the Zookas. You really, you really need to keep an eye on those uh, machine guns. If your heavies are actually splitting into different directions and your, your Zookas are going straight ahead in an open spot, that's really, really dangerous. So tossing a med kit upon my Zookas and my heavies. And I'm working my way up there to the HQ. Um, I really, oh man, that those rocket launchers on the north side of the base is a really struggle. So I'm going to be trying to take them down by using my gunboat engine. Barrages and artillery shells are raining upon his rocket launchers right now. There we go. We took the south side's rocket launchers and almost all of my heavies are gone. Almost all of my heavies are gone, guys. So my Zookas are actually going to be uh, just tossing those uh, artillery shells right now. Let's toss some critters and let's see what the critters can assist me with. And my Zookas are firing on the HQ right now. We only got like one mortar, one, two, some sniper tower, one cannon, flamethrower, machine gun up there. And the firepower is real, guys. Look at the damage from the Zookas. They are doing some great amount of damage. Oh, uh, yes. This is going to be a win. Terror Stage 7. It's going to be taking damage. Down with hookah that is four boats of heavies and four boats of zookas guys check this out hand blast in this base like mother dan guys thursday 7 just went down and that was basically it for today guys i took down dr terror and took out some real player bases sadly i wasn't able to get some prototype modules but it doesn't really matter because yeah we got another day tomorrow we're gonna be getting colonel gearheart so that is gonna be awesome i'm gonna be taking colonel gearheart out with my team so anyways keep on booming and goodbye